O Lord, my allotted portion in my cup, you it is who hold fast to my lot. For me, the measuring lines have fallen on pleasant sights. Fair to me indeed is my inheritance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of another one of our American saints, St. John Neumann. And as we prepare to enter into our worship today, let us begin as we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who called the bishop, St. John Neumann, renowned for his charity and pastoral service, to shepherd your people in America, grant by his intercession that we, as fosters thought that we may foster the Christian education of youth and be strengthened by the witness of his brotherly love so that we may constantly increase the family of your church through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us, God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them. 
for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. By now it was already late, and his disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them so that they can go to the surrounding farms and villages and buy themselves something to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Are we to buy 200 days wages worth of food and give it to them to eat? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five loaves and two fish. So he gave orders to them, to sit down in groups on the green grass. The people took their places in rows of hundreds and by fifties. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them as well. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up 12 wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were 5,000 men. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Christmas season, Uh, Following the feast of the epiphany of our Lord, we certainly realize that the word epiphany means manifestation. And when we look historically in the church's celebration of epiphanies, there are many times what we call major and minor epiphanies and celebrations. Uh, The major epiphanies uh, were three traditionally and were celebrated in liturgical form. Uh, the visit visit of the Magi, which we celebrate on the Feast of Epiphany. Uh, The following week, another one of the major epiphanies, the Baptism of the Lord, which we will celebrate uh, this coming weekend and conclude the Christmas season. And then the third major epiphany was always understood as the wedding feast at Cana in Galilee, where Jesus changes the water into wine and manifests the beginning, not only of his first miracle, but another affirmation of his presence in the world as the divine son of God, as truly uh, the one sent from the Father. But we also know that there were many minor epiphanies as well. And even among those that are considered minor, we recognize too that any time the manifestation of God is made known, it is an epiphany. Uh, We even sometimes, although Maybe not so much in secular language today, but you know, there's always that term, oh, you know, I just had an epiphany, (laughs) you know, which means often uh, can translate into an idea, but it really means all of a sudden I've been enlightened. I've had a manifestation in my mind, you know, and uh, we've all experienced those moments, you know. Uh, I think of them often, you know, because, you know, men follow every step whenever you get those big instruction books, whether it's with a, uh, a tool or a shed Uh, or the new car, or whatever it might be. You know, we we read them all through very, very meticulously, you know. Uh, But, you know, we've all had that moment when all of a sudden something's clicked. And we say, oh, that goes in there, then that goes there, there it goes. That's how it gets together. If it hasn't been broken up, thrown halfway across uh, the room, or put into the dumpster before that, with a little caveat. But I think, too, many times when we think about our spiritual life and even as we look at the scriptures themselves, Jesus manifests through all of the miracles that we see in all four Gospels that understanding of that kingdom of God and his cooperation and the revelation of God. And today, of course, is an example, again, of a manifestation or an epiphany with this very famous and well-known multiplication of the loaves and fishes miracle. And of course, at the heart of this is Jesus' concern, first and foremost, not to say, okay, now everybody sit back. I'm going to give you a big sign so that you know, you all know what's going on. No, he, he is moved out of compassion. As a matter of fact, St. Mark the Evangelist makes it very clear. He was moved with compassion for the crowd. They were tired. They were hungry. They were showing their fidelity, their zeal, and their desire to hear his word. And so Jesus feeds them, not only physically, 
But of course, what this miracle shows us is that Jesus is going to feed them even more importantly, spiritually, and sustain them, not just in emotional health, but in spiritual vitality. And so we have to make ourselves realize in this season of epiphany that manifestations of God are not just moments where we have an enlightenment, but in every true epiphany, in every true manifestation of God's presence, Jesus is there to allow that manifestation to help us, to heal us, to strengthen us, to nourish us, so that it is not just an intellectual aha moment, but that it is a constant process of helping us with our ongoing internal conversion and our deepening of our faith life. Of course, we recognize and know that the sacraments are major epiphanies in our lives, major manifestations. And of course, the hallmark of that is the Eucharist. Jesus manifests himself at this altar every time we celebrate the sacred mysteries. And so as we approach the altar again today, may today's epiphany and manifestation of the Lord in this Eucharist remind us that he feeds us in body, but more importantly, in spirit and in soul. <clears throat> My dear friends, together we bring before the Heavenly Father our needs and concerns. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, as he continues to lead Christ's church with the message of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. For the first responders and health care workers, may the Lord protect them and bless them in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are struggling to find employment, may God's love bring them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For this community of faith, may God's spirit bind us more closely to each other and bring relief to those suffering in our midst, especially in mind, body, or spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of our personal intentions, for those needs listed in our parish book of prayer, and for all those we hold in the silence of our hearts and bring before the Lord today, we pray to the Lord. For Sophie McIntyre, for whom we offer Mass today, and for all of the souls of the faithful departed, that they who have died may find eternal rest and peace in God's heavenly kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Yes. Heavenly Father, we love you and thank you for your compassion toward us. Hear and answer our prayers which we bring to you today through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar and grant that we may reflect the image of Christ your Son, just as you granted to St. John Neumann to imitate what he celebrated through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let, Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and, 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your son, we ask, O oh Lord, that by the example of St. John Neumann, that may, we may experience the power of this sacrament and remain constantly in the church by the bond of unity and truth. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.